Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Lizzie and today we're going to be going through my May TBR. I just got a few books on my May TBR. Um, I'm going for five this month. I will almost certainly read more than that but you know I just want to, want to chill out slightly on the TBRs so I can read other things that I fancy along the way. Um, so as always we're going to start off with my challenges for the challenges I set myself across the year and then I'll show you some of the other books I plan on reading this month. So first of all I am doing Buzzwordathon this year and the buzzword for May is a book with a direction in the title up down left right north south east west etc and technically this is a reread for me um, North Child by Edith Patu. Patu? Patu? Patu. I read this I got it from my library when I was probably about 10 years old I would guess um, it's no surprise why I picked it up because it looks exactly like Northern Lights which has been a favorite book of mine since who knows when so I think I saw this and was like this looks like Northern Lights my favorite book I'm gonna read it um, and I remember really enjoying it I remember thinking I really enjoyed that I want to read it again I'm gonna keep an eye out for it for sale places and a few weeks ago a few months ago I found it in a charity shop um, it was only like a pound. I've been kind of, you know, keeping half an eye out for cheap copies for years. So I'm, I'm going to reread it finally. I remember very little about this book. Um, but it's a girl who goes on an icy journey with a polar bear, which you can get from the cover. Also, I don't know if you can see on camera or you can because of the snazzy light. There you go. I love, there's like a compass that's like shiny on the cover. So obsessed with that. And this is really good condition as well. So looking forward to reading this. Next is my non-fiction challenge. So each month I am picking a non-fiction book to read. And this month I'm going to be reading Heroes by Stephen Fry. I read his myths book last year. And this is basically like Stephen Fry's telling of Greek mythology. Like Stephen Fry is sitting you down and going, let's go through in order. Let's tell all the stories. I really enjoyed myths. Um, is it what's it called myths? Mythos. I really enjoyed Mythos, um, so I'm looking forward to Heroes. So Mythos was all the kind of divine beings of Greek mythology, so all the gods and goddesses, and this one is obviously Greek heroes. And again, another another lovely cover. We've got some some great covers, and it's one of these. Hold on. Ta-da! Very nice, very nice. So um, this is my non-fiction book, a little bit lighter than what I've been going for the last few months. thought I'd go for something... Something a bit more of a gentle read for my non-fiction book. Then the third challenge is my Tudor TBR. So every month I am reading a book about the Tudors from my shelf of Tudor books. And this month I'm going to be reading Uncrowned Queen by Nicola Tallis. This is a non-fiction book, a biography about Margaret Beaufort, the mother of Henry VII. I am really excited to read this. Margaret Beaufort is such an interesting figure, such a fascinating figure, and there's a lot of kind of lore about her, I feel, um, but I'm really excited to read about her actual life um, as someone who was sort of overshadowed by some of the larger personalities of Tudor, the Tudor era. Um, and also I went to visit um, Pembroke Castle last summer, which is where Henry VII was born and where she lived, um, and there was lots of really interesting stuff about her there, so that made me more excited to pick up this um so yeah i thought to have a change i've read a lot of uh henry the eighth's court kind of things recently so a slightly different part of the tudor era a different figure who who i don't know as much about so looking forward to reading about this lady so those are all of my challenges now i just got a couple of other books that i'm hoping to get to this month that i thought i would mention so next one is what's it called the oracle's queen by lynn pluelling this is the last in the tamir triad um and i just i want to finish off the trilogy i want to have read the whole series and this is a trilogy about a princess who is disguised as a prince by dark magic uh, in order to survive as there is a prophecy that a female heir will take over the kingdom and the last book was i mean it's always a bit weird lin Fluing stuff can sometimes be a bit weird um but it was very very good and there was a sort of you know reveal moment at the end so i this is this is this promises to be 
a big conclusion to the story. This is a prequel trilogy to the, or it's sort of in the same world as the Night Runner series. So I'll be interested to see if there's any like Easter eggs for the Night Runner in here as well. And finally, the reason this TBR is a bit shorter than usual is this brick here. <laughs> how, how long is this book? Actually, it's not as long as I thought. It's like 660 pages, but because it's hardback, it looks immense. Um, and it is Queer Square Mile, which is a short story collection. Queer short stories from Wales. I'm queer, I'm in Wales, and I love a short story. So of course, I had to get this. I came across this, it, co it cropped up on NetGalley a few months ago. I requested it, never heard back, and then I saw it in a bookshop when I was on holiday the other day and thought, yes, I'm gonna get it. So I'm not gonna read this like cover to cover like a novel, I'm gonna dip in and out over the month. I might start it in April actually. Um, I've got a fair amount of April left <laughs> when I'm filming this. So I might start it sooner, um, but I fully anticipate this is gonna take me a few weeks. I'm probably just gonna read like one a day. Um, I kind of dip in and out. Um, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to reading this because I mean, I said a few weeks ago, or a few videos ago, whatever time frame we're using, um, that I've been really enjoying reading books set in Wales and looking for books set in Wales because I haven't read many, which is surprising given that I live here. Um, so a whole book of queer short stories from Wales. So exciting. And I think there's a big variety here. Some of them are like contemporary writers, some of them are from different eras through history. And if I remember correctly, they're kind of organised... Yes, they're organised in an interesting way. So there's like categories, I'll, I'll read the categories. So the first one is Love, Loss and the Art of Failure. There's Disorderly Women, uh, Transformations, Hauntings and Other Queer Fancies, Queer Children and Internationalisms. Those are the, the categories. Um, and I think it's also the first time that some of these have appeared in English, that some of them have been translated from Welsh for the first time. I am working on reading something in Welsh. We're way off there though. So um, for now, I shall read English translations. And that's it. That is my May TBR. Let me know what you are planning on reading in May. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Ta-ra for now.